Hello everyone, this is Juan from KenHub and welcome to this anatomy tutorial where we're going to be talking about the body movements. In this tutorial, we'll be learning the different movements that the body is capable of and the terminology we use for those movements. We'll do a brief overview of movement in general to start with. And next, we'll run through each of the different types of movement and where they are possible in the body. Then we can talk about why this knowledge is important clinically and take a brief look at a condition called arthritis. We'll finish off with a summary of what's been covered. So let's start with that overview of body movements. All movements will be discussed relative to the anatomical position, which you see here on the screen. If you need a refresher on this, I'd recommend that you watch the start of the video or even read the first part of the article on directional terms and body planes, which you can find here on the KenHub website. But now you can see here on the screen that in the anatomical position, the arms are relaxed by the side of the body, the legs shoulder width apart, and the head facing forward. Movement or motion is the change in position of an object relative to a fixed point. That's essentially the definition that we have for movement. Almost all movement in the joints in your body is in some way rotational, meaning that the part that is further away is moving around a pivot point. That point is called the fulcrum. In the body, this is usually a point within the joint. In some cases, an axis may be a more appropriate description than a fulcrum. While a fulcrum is a point, an axis is a straight line around which rotational movement happens. Each specific movement happens in a particular plane of motion, for example the sagittal plane or the coronal plane. You can see here a schematic diagram of a ball and socket joint. The gray part is the socket and is fixed. The fulcrum is at the base of the socket and the blue part moves around this fulcrum in the sagittal plane, for example. This might sound overly complicated, but these terms allow us to describe the motion of the parts of the body accurately. Let's give you an example using the terms we've just described. We'll use the knee as an example. If you stand on one leg bend, just your knee, your lower leg and foot move while your thigh stays stationary. The object, the thing that moves, is the lower leg. The fixed point is the thigh. And the plane through which the movement happens is the sagittal plane. The fulcrum, the point around which the movement happens, is then the knee joint. The blue dot pulsing here is the axis around which the hinge movement of the knee occurs. All kinds of body movement can be described using these principles. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and Atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.